Hello, we're going to work on the displacement or height of our um, texture on our table right now. So we put it in the base color and what we'll want to do is drag in that same texture into the height. So if I go over there and you'll see by default, it might not look exactly like this. Um, for the settings, if it's really high, you'll get something crazy like that. You'll get different kind of effects if you're using edge, um, edge length subdivision. So just be aware of that. Um, so you can play around it with that. I'm gonna set this to like 0 0.001 or 0 0.005. Something where it's very minor and do uniform is fine. So if there's a bit of breakup in the silhouette, Maybe even a little more, I think, 0 .00, 0 0.001, yeah. You kind of want to be able to see, like, break up on the silhouette. So if you look at the edges, you'll see kind of a bump. Um, that way, you can dial in the displacement pretty good. Okay. So now that we've done that, um, I am going to right-click or I'm gonna go in here and um, if you right click it and go to levels this gives you the option to adjust um, to add a levels to your material and it's applying to whatever channel you set here so right now this is going to base color so I can make my, my table lighter or darker by just playing around with these settings if that's something that you're looking for. Um, but I don't want to be affecting the color for now. I'm going to affect the, the height. So you just click up this and do height. And then I am going to play around with this. So this is like this by default. I'm going to move this probably over a bit like that. So it's less strong. And we can even just look at our height map. And let's see. Um, so if you see the grid, that means that whatever map you're seeing has some transparency that's seen through. So I was playing around with this before just to make sure I got everything. Um, I'm going to bring it back to by default and you'll just so you'll see what this part is doing and I'll, I'll go over that other stuff later in a second but so I'm looking at this and you'll notice that everything is mostly black and then there's a bit of gray so generally you kind of want to make everything gray so I'm pulling this up and then you want it to raise up or go lower so you want your midpoint or your like default space to be the, the gray part or the yeah gray 0.5 value. Let's try to get something like that. And then we can look at our material and see, okay, now that really has pushed out everything. I can go and I can apply, go over and change the settings in my displacement, knowing that that will bring down the scale of it. Um, I can also do what I sh kind of showed you before. Um, I can change this number here. So whatever this or these um, are, so that you have base color, height, roughness, metallic, you can actually select the layer and go to the height and then change the blending mode and the opacity. So if you're like the height's too much, you can just blend it down, which is a really nice way of helping to dial in some stuff. So now that's looking more realistic, more what I want. Yeah, and then I can roll my light over it and it's feeling a lot better. And that gets you pretty far. Um, just using the correct good initial map at first, um, you could put a lot of work on just one map and that will get you like 95% there. Um, 
So I think that's a good starting place and I'll see you in the next video.